Once upon a time, a long time ago, a little princess lived here at Carew Castle. Her name was Ellen. One day, her father, the king, called her over and said, Ellen, I have a present for you. I want you to look after this precious ball and not to lose it if you go out to play. So Ellen went out through the gates of the castle and she threw the ball up in the air and she caught it. And then she bounced the ball on the floor and she caught it. And then she threw the ball with all her might against the wall of the castle. And she didn't catch it. And the ball bounced away, ba-doink, 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 into the mill pond behind me. Oh no! She ran over to the edge of the water and pulled off her shoes and socks and waded in. But she couldn't find the ball. Then she heard a very strange voice saying, I'll fetch it for you. Who's that? I'll fetch your ball out. And there beneath her was a frog. And the frog leapt into the water and came out very soon with a ball on his nose. Oh, thank you, Mr. Frog. You found my ball. Would you like a cup of tea with us at the castle? I'd like that very much, said the frog. So over a cup of tea, the princess told her father what had happened. Thank you, Mr. Frog, for finding the ball, said the king. Is there anything I can do for you? The frog said, well, I would like, I would like a kiss from Princess Ellen. Go on then, said the king. Go on, Ellen, give the frog a kiss. So Ellen puckered up her lips and gave the frog an air kiss. No, said the king. Give the frog a proper kiss. So once again, Ellen puckered up her lips and she gave the frog a kiss on the lips. All at once, his frog feet started to become boy's feet and he grew and grew until there was a boy standing in front of Ellen. Who are you? She asked. I am Prince Thomas. A wicked witch put a spell on me and said that I wouldn't turn back into being a prince until a proper princess gave me a kiss. So the two of them, Thomas and Ellen, grew up together at the castle. And eventually they fell in love and they lived happily ever after at Carew Castle.